Hello there. Today I'm going to be making some 3D um, happy birthday balloon embellishments. And before I've come on, then I use I had this paper strip for our uh, paper strip background that I had. So I used my punch and I punched out. I was able to get three big balloons and two smaller ones out of this one little piece. So that's pretty cool. And then I thought, okay, I also wanted to do some some solid colored ones. So I pulled out, I had one strip of red laying next to me, so I grabbed that. Then I used my little bitty, bitty, bitty happy birthday and stamped on white scraps. And I punched out as many as I could on what I pulled out. The leftover red, I took my itty bitty punch <laughs> that came in a set off of Amazon. Um, you just do tiny, tiny punch sets. And that's, that's what came up. And I, I love this one. It's so cute. So that's, that's as far as I've gotten so far. So the other thing that I did do is I took two of these and I did put 3D backgrounds on them, the foam on them. Because I, some of them I want to 3D up so they can go on the outside of a card or on a package or whatever. And then some of them I went on the inside. So I don't want to 3D the ones that go on the inside. So, but I want to show you what these look like. They look so pretty. So here's a 3D one, and here's a, a flat one. So that there is quite a difference. And then same thing here. Here's one 3D, and here's a flat one without the 3D. So I like them both, but that's, that's kind of fun. Alrighty, the other thing you can do is you can take these ones, the the backgrounds that you've created and you can put those on colored backs solid colors that'll be neat too another thing you can do is you don't have to put it right on top like this you can always put them side by side like this and then just add the little strings on them then they'll be ready to go and just to put on your packages or on your scrapbook pages so i'm trying to think of more ideas for you that you can do beforehand so that way because i know for me if I have these made and ready to go, I'm more apt to use them than waiting till it comes time and then taking the time to do every single little element on a card. Then I just, it, I find it easier to do this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of these together so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And from the beginning all the way out to the end. So there's a 3D one and I do have these little flowers. So I thought I could. Add a little flower up on the top. That would be adorable. Isn't that cute? <laughs> That's just so adorable. Then I can use my string and I can go ahead and I can make a little bow for it. So this is definitely something else that you can use with one inch or less strips is make your strip backgrounds cut some shapes out, some balloons, and then with the one inch, cut out the same shape but just a smaller size and stamp the words on it that you need. Alrighty, I love making these itty bitty ones. They're so cute. There and there. All right. That is so fun. Okie dokie. So then I just need to trim that off. Ta-da. And then this can be glued on. And I think I would, you could either put it right on top of that one or you could put it underneath in between the two of them. <laughs> That's kind of cute too. All right. I kind of like it in between. That's cute but I kind of like it on top too. Okay, well this one I'm gonna do it on top. That's fun. So you can do it either way. And then we just need a little teeny dot for in the middle, a little bitty gem. And we're doing it all red, so we may as well do a red one. One dot, one little dot. That is adorable. Look at this. <laughs> How cute is that? A two-layered 
birthday balloon for an embellishment. I love that idea. All right, let's put this one together because this one's 3D'd up also. So we may as well go ahead and put this one together. And I'll do this one on the paper strip background. There, let's go ahead and make another little bow. Nice and tight and then pull those tails nice and tight alrighty then we can trim off the excess then we can glue this down even the smallest of the little the tiniest scraps we can use those up to make embellishments so you can do it with or without the, the little flower on the top so here's one with and here's one without they pretty. Alrighty, so we've got one of each there. Okay, now we're going to do one of each just flat. That one and this one. Alrighty. That's just so simple and so perfect. So imagine if you had some of these done and put these in a little container and you had them set aside so that way you can use them at a later date and you have an empty card that you've made and you just need to throw a happy birthday on it. Then you can certainly do that. That would be cool. Here, I, do, I have this one sitting here that's not finished yet. But you could definitely throw that on. I would throw the red one on for the contrasting color. And look at that. Isn't that adorable? Just put that on and then all you have to do is add a string to it. Isn't that cute? For the inside, you could do a flat one for all the inside. Just put it in there, put it in the middle. So what do you think of that? Isn't that a fun idea? I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the another flower to this one. Since I've got those little red flowers made up, I may as well use them. Although I do have my itty bitty flower jar. Because I love to have flowers, as you know. Pre-made and pre-punched out. All right. Better get that back rub. That's giving me a hard time about staying down. There, that's better. All right, so this needs a gem, and they both need a bow. So let's do that. We need a gem on this one. I guess I could put just a gem on this one. It doesn't have to be a, actually, I could do a set of three gems on that. That would be cute. Let's do that. All right, so we need a red gem for this one. There's the little red gem. Ta-da! It's so cute. And this one has blue, yellow, and green. So let's do that. We've got yellow. green and then I need blue that bright blue right there that's going to be pretty oh that looks so cute all right now let me make a bow and then I'll hold them up closer that is adorable now I want to add the little gems on. okay I've got to do that <laughs> and then I'll do the bows that is really cute one, two, three. Okay. All right, this has got brown, green, and blue. Okay. And I have a brown one right here. On this one. Brown. Blue. And that's a lighter blue. All right, here's blue. We'll just use the same blue. And green. That is so pretty. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so now I need two more bows and then I can lift these and show you. That's so fun. And if you don't have a, a die cut of a balloon or or a punch, this one was or is a Stampin' Up! punch that my friend sent me years years ago. Um, but I've seen other ones. Um, I know Close to My Heart does a, a double. I believe theirs is... I don't know if theirs is a punch or if it's a or if it's a die, but they have a set of two. And I've seen them on face I mean on yeah, on Facebook, Barbara. On Amazon. There are there are stacking, you can get um stacking punches, they're called. And they and you buy sets of them with two or three different sizes. And I like to buy them like that because I like to make my own embellishments. So this, this comes out perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and add this one on. There. And now I just need to make one more for this last one. I'm really getting a lot of bows in string off of this spool. I bet it's going to last me till after I die and my grandkids have grandkids. <laughs> That'll be a lot of generations going through this one spool. Then we can trim it. And then we can add it on here. That is really cute. Okay. So let me put this on a card and I'll bring it up closer so you can see. Here are the two paper strip background ones, and here are the two solid color backgrounds. Whoops, and I just moved that out of the way. All right, now stay on there. There. You can see the difference. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> I like the way they came out. So I hope you like this idea. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And check through your dies and your punches and see what you've got. See, see if you've got two different sizes of something. It doesn't have to even be a balloon. So, and if you don't have a balloon punch or die, then you can always make one, and I will show you how to do that. All you need to do is, do, 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 do. you actually need a circle and a heart. That would be the easiest way to do it. You need a little mini heart. Let me, where's my pencil? Because if you had a little mini heart, then you could, if you had a little mini heart, and then you had a circle, Look how you put them together. See a little heart and a circle. A heart would give you the little the little bottom, the little lips on the bottom that you need. And then the circle would give you the balloon shape. Isn't that simple? That's fun. And you just glue them together. You want to take a screenshot of that so you don't forget? Alrighty. So I hope you like this idea, and if you do, please give me those thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.